Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you're looking for a decent bike cover, stick around and I'll show you what I've got. So this bike cover is the Oxford Storm X um, and it's probably Oxford's most famous um, cover. Um, it's actually an outdoor cover so it should protect your bike from all the elements like rain, sun, snow and dust as well. Um, and it is quite a tough liner so it should prevent any little knocks and scuffs that you might have with it whilst you're moving it around. Um, it should be said as well that it's uh, it's been um, given Ride Magazine's um, top marks and sort of a recommended level as well. Um, and they've praised the cover for um, all of the construction details and also the serious protection it offers against water, abrasion and heat. Um, so this particular cover comes with uh, external bonded seams for maximum rain protection and they're also saying that the rubber taping um, is UV protection but one thing to note from that is I my last cover was a Stormex as well and I had it for about three years. I'll show you a photo but all that happened was is the uh, taping started to peel off um, when the bike had been outside for uh, quite a while. So if you're going to buy this cover, I would suggest getting some tape sealant um, like you'd get for tents. They're only a few quid from um, you know, sort of outdoor shops and just give those tapes another sealing with that and it should keep them held fast. So this cover is actually ventilated as well just to allow your bike to breathe. It's got a soft heat resistant lining underneath as well which helps protect your, your paintwork from scratching. Um, it has got some reflective panels, these bits here are all reflective, um, so if you've got your bike outside on the road at night, um, people are going to be able to see it. Um, there's also um, a, a heat resistant lining around about where the exhaust pipe is, so if you do put the cover on when it's still hot, um, the, the cover should be alright. Again, a word of warning for that, um, I did put my cover down right next to the bike and it sort of fell over a little bit. Um, not my bike, the cover, and it, it, it fell into the exhaust pipe and it did melt it. I'll show you a picture of that, I had to repair it, but um, it is quite a meltable material, so don't put it anywhere near heat if you can help it. And I would try and avoid putting the cover on until your bike's cooled down enough. Um, so there's also a wraparound splash protector underneath. So as you can see, the, the cover does sort of hit the ground quite a bit. Um, it's a bit bigger, but underneath there's this silver material that um, doesn't absorb any water. Um, so you should be all right with that. Um, I've had mine on, it doesn't soak up, so that does its job nicely. Um, there's also some locking pouches. So underneath here, you've got these little holes uh, where you can put your chains through and they're on either end, front and back, so you can put your chains through the wheel. And also they've provided this little pouch here uh, on the front again and on the back. And that just allows you to put your little padlock in there if you've got it chained up and it just keeps your padlock off the ground and it stops it from getting wet. Um, also, you've got this front window, which uh, I don't know if you can read that, but essentially there's a little pouch inside and if you've got a solarizer charger, um, you can stick that in there and it will be getting the sun all day lo long and, and also charging your battery up. There's one on the back as well, um, but they tell me this is mainly for the number plate. Um, but I mean, I've never used it. There is a little curtain inside so you can expose your number plate if you want to. Mine's always out of the back of my house anyway, um, so I've never used it. Um, but that's what that's for. And that's about it really. I've had mine for three years. I wouldn't buy another one. Uh, incidentally, if you're using it for Honda Rebel, um, the size you're going to need for that is a medium. Um, the medium seems to fit quite well. It does look baggy underneath. It's baggier than the last one I've got. But if you put that you know, little buckle together, um, it will stop it from flapping around and I found them to be generally an overall quite a good um, quite a good cover to use and they are waterproof I don't know if you can see that there but the water I mean, it just runs off so yeah it's perfect for any outdoor use keeps the rain off and keeps your bike protected okay so thanks for making it to the end of uh, this video I hope it's been of some use to you and uh, I'll see you in the next one cheers bye